Hello guys welcome to Docs Coffee YouTube channel today we are going to tell about left bundle branch block left bundle branch block is blockage of electrical impulses to the heart's left ventricle ECG findings of left bundle branch block includes broad QRS complex that is more than 120 milliseconds which is more than 3 small squares in ECG in let's v1 v2 deep and broad s wave which may be notched appears as w shaped in led v1 small r wave may be missing or absent if it is missing qs complex appears in led v1 and occasionally in led v2 broad monophasic r wave and absence of q waves in lateral leds that is led 1 avl v5 v6 small q waves in led avl is acceptable in left chest leds that is v5 v6 we can see prolonged r wave peak time that is more than 60 milliseconds r wave peak time is measured from the beginning of the qrs complex to the peak of the r wave associated features include stt always goes in opposite direction to the main vector of qrs complex which is called appropriate discordance poor r wave progression in chest leds and left axis deviation in qrs complex r wave may be m shaped monophasic notched rs complex in lateral leds in led v1 it may be rs complex that is small r wave and deep s wave qs complex deep q and s wave with no preceding r wave So for left bundle branch block we have a mnemonic William W represents W pattern in V1 and L represents left bundle branch block and M represents M pattern in V6 so W L M in the down ECG you can notice that broad QRS complex that is highlighted in red circle in the red rectangle you can see appropriate discordance that is S st and t are going in opposite direction to the main vector of qrs complex it means qrs is in negative def deflection and stt is in positive deflection poor r wave progression in chest leds can be noticed in the blue rectangle the r wave peak time is more than 60 milliseconds that is more than 1.2 small squares in the blue bidirectional arrow you can see left axis deviation it is the positive deflection in the led one and negative deflection in the led two hence it is left axis deviation coming to causes of left bundle branch block it includes dilated cardiomyopathy hypertrophic cardiomyopathy hypertension aortic stenosis coronary artery disease anterior myocardial infarction ischemic heart disease hyperkalemia lanegras disease that is primary degenerative fibrosis of conducting system in incomplete left bundle branch block the ecg findings will be same as left bundle branch block but only the qrs duration will be less than 120 milliseconds thank you if you feel this video is informative like it share with your friends and subscribe for more updates